Good evening, everyone. Um, uh, first, I just want to acknowledge um, a couple of people, um, in particular, um, Mrs. Grace Burnett, who is here. She is the COO of uh, C, sorry, CEO of GK Financial Group, um, as well as Ryan Strawn, who is um, from GK Capital, our VP of Investor Relations. Um, I'd like to welcome you all tonight to GK Capital Management's webinar. Our theme is the art of the deal, where we will be exploring mergers and acquisitions post COVID-19 and pricing trends that we're seeing emerge. Um, I think the discussion promises to be extremely engaging. M&A is very topical right now um, and an active, active industry trend, despite its challenges arising from the pandemic. Uh, we have seen many unique opportunities, which we intend to discuss it in our session tonight. I am Douglas Robinson, Acting Managing Director of GK Capital Management, and your moderator for this evening's proceedings. It is my pleasure to introduce our speakers tonight. Um, we have with us Chief Operating Officer of Grace Kennedy Financial Group, Mr. Stephen Whittingham, Head of Mergers and Acquisitions for Grace Kennedy, Mr. Andrew Learaini, and our specially invited subject matter expert, financial journalist and editor with the transactional track record, Mr. Oliver Hill, a name that many of us will be familiar with. So thank you, gentlemen, for lending us your time and your expertise this evening. Uh, as we continue to navigate the pandemic, what were once norms of our various industries have changed. And we have all had to adapt and survive, um, or sorry, adapt to survive, and with any luck, thrive despite the challenges and uncertainties that we faced. Uh, we, what we'd like to achieve with this session tonight is to give you, our clients, the tools to help make your investment journey a little bit easier through information and access to experts in a variety of fields. Um, I'm sure you'll agree that our pan panelists tonight really fit the bill. Uh, just as a bit of background, we've seen a number of trends emerging in the M&A space, both locally and globally. The pandemic has had an immense impact on our lives generally, and more specifically, has affected the M&A market. Uh, we talk a lot about the challenges that businesses have been facing, but the reality is that these challenges, whether it be market volatility, business model shifts, um, from the perspective of an M&A practitioner, these are all really just opportunities. Recently, we've seen low interest rates. Now, uh, this may change, particularly lo locally with policy rates being raised. Um, we've also seen traditional business models being transitioned into more agile digital environments. And we've seen shifts in what consumers are spending on and the platforms that they're using to actually um, make that spend. And fundraising to support all of these trends is growing, which means that currently we have an extremely interesting environment for investors, both individuals and institutions. Uh, so I've set the stage um, a little bit, and I'm going to hand over to our panelists for their thoughts. So first, I'd like to ask uh, Stephen Whittingham to, to take the floor and um, you know, uh, give us a, a few thoughts on, on the topic. Sure. Um, thanks to you, um, Douglas, for the in introductions. Uh, thanks to the fellow panelists and everyone who's worked to get this all set up and to our guests. I'm seeing quite a few of you online, so very happy um, that you're all here with us today. Um, you know, I'd just